Hello everybody, this is Martina from Yaskava Europe. Welcome to the Software Lab. Today I will be showing you how to connect to a robot controller via LAN cable or high-speed Ethernet. All what you need is to have a minimum a controller of YRC1000 with activated function of high-speed Ethernet. In Europe this function is in the standard settings of the robot controller. However, if you are not sure or you don't have this function activated, please contact your local Yaskawa representative. Then you will need one LAN cable, as I have here, and you will need a laptop to check for your connection. Okay, so first you will have to plug in your LAN cable inside the robot controller. You can do it in the following way. Open the main door of the controller and you will find the LAN ports located on the upper left side. You are searching for anything which is marked LAN 2 or LAN 3. So I will use a LAN 3 connection. I just plug in my cable in. I put it through the opening that is available in the robot controller. I will plug my cable now to a laptop. First of all, you will need to set up the IP address of the robot controller. This you can do in the maintenance mode. I will show you how to run a robot in the maintenance mode. Get the pendant and hold the main menu button. It says this one located up here. Hold it while turning on the robot controller until you hear a beep. Now we will wait until the controller boots up. As soon as your controller booted in the maintenance mode, you can see a very limited menu on your pendant. So you go under the system, setup, and down here to the option function. You are searching for anything called like LAN interface settings. So enter here and search for your ports. So here is LAN 2 and my LAN 3. So you have to use the manual settings and then here enter the requested IP address. So mine is 192.168.0 and 1. Confirm it. And then don't forget to press yeah. enter button, modify yes, and after the beep, the data is saved. So now you can go back and reboot your controller in uh, standard mode. As soon as your controller booted up in the standard operation mode, you can check your IP address on the pendant. So go to system info and search for anything called network service. You will see that you have your LAN 2, LAN 3 settings down here and it's corresponding to this what you have set before. After that you need to set up your LAN connection into your laptop. So go to your LAN settings or wired connections, however it's called, um, in your system. Go to the setup and uh, set up the IP address of your computer. So here I have the IP address that it's kind of matching the IP address of the robot controller in the first three digits. Only the last uh, uh, value I have changed and I have controller to number one and my laptop is to set to number two. Okay, as soon as you have this set up properly, then we can try to ping the controller. And you see that the ping is successful, I am getting uh, some data through. You can actually try very same thing on the robot controller side. You can do this again by the pendant menu. You go to system info, um, network utility. Here you have to enter your IP address of your PC. and then try to execute and you see that I am getting OK signal this means a connection is working so that's the proof that you are successfully connected to your robot controller and actually I have prepared a small chop that you can see how I run the robot through my laptop robot say hello So you see that this connection is moving, a uh, robot is moving, the connection is working. Thank you for watching and see you next time.